Hello everybody and welcome back to Vegas Sports Talk. And there were some key trades today made by the Golden Knights. And I was not gonna remember all of them, so I wrote them down on a piece of paper. And there were trades that really made them a playoff contender and a true Stanley Cup contender. So the first one that was made today was Nick Cousins. He's a fourth from Montreal for a fourth round pick in 2021. There's basically no risk for this for the Golden Knights. Um, Cousins is a fine player. Um, like he can be on the third line. He'll be he'll fit right in here in Vegas. And I think it's a good pick for the Golden Knights. Um, and I also want to talk about Friday's trade when they traded Cody Eakin away to win a pick for a conditional fourth round pick, which can turn into a third round pick with a when if he resigns or if Winnipeg makes it so far in the playoff. And they took away three point eight five million dollars all this cap hit. So he's off the roster now and we're no longer paying for him. So that's good. And a big trade today was made with Chicago. Um, goaltender Robin Leonard and Martis Zikalas um, goes to the, the Golden Knights in exchange for Malcolm Subban, defenseman Slava Demon, and a 2020 second round pick. So this trade, I was really not expecting it. I was expecting Guffinson to come here from Chicago, but I really like this trade. I think the Golden Knights get the best player in the trade. Um, they get the second round pick and the Subban and a prospect, but that's really not much at all. Um, and Robin Leonard can um, take starts from Flurry when, when he needs days off. And this way, the workload's split 50-50. And Kelly McCrim said that if Flurry were to get hurt, they would not be able to win playoff games. And I agree with him, but it was kind of a brutal statement, but it was really honest. And they're really going to benefit from this trade. While Robin Leonard, only, I think he's only on contract for one year. Um, it's perfect for the Golden Knights. They get another, they get a star goalie that can back them up, and it's going to be like a duo in net. Um, one night you're going to have Leonard, the other night you're going to have Flurry. You're not going to see Flurry back to back to back anymore. And I think this is really going to help him with the rest, and it's going to help him come playoff time. Like, let's say, for instance, Flurry does get hurt. He's out for a couple weeks. They can still win games with Leonard and net. And I think the Golden Knights win all, all of these trades that they made the past couple of days, including the Alec Martinez trade that's working out really well. Um, so, and they don't even give up that many people off the roster. They only give up a couple of picks, but that's not even that much. Um, Subban's the only person, and Cody Eakin are the people going away. But Cody Eakin's trade, we needed him off the roster anyways. So, I think this is a really good good day for the Golden Knights at trade deadline, and I was not expecting them to get a backup goalie, especially from last night's game when they kind of need, uh, Subban played good last night, but I think Robin Leonard would have made more of those saves. So Robin Leonard come, is now a Vegas scoring night, and he does not want the drummer crew to be at the airport. And I don't blame him. He's shy, he said. He wants to fit here, and it's his first day coming here, and he shouldn't be bombarded with drummers. So there you guys go. Um, I have a couple more videos I make today. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Vegas Sports Talk. And my shout-outs today, Instagram, Sadie Perkins. She's one of my most loyal followers. She's been with from me from the beginning. She's a close friend of mine. And my Twitter is Connor Lowry. He is my brother. So there you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. And what do you guys think about these trades? Do you think they will benefit the Golden Knights in the long run? So thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I'll talk to you guys again real soon.